Hey, America fell in love with the Waltons 50 years ago, and they're celebrating by giving us an anniversary special. I got the chance to talk with Richard Thomas from the Waltons Homecoming. Check it out. We're so excited. The Waltons Homecoming coming to us this Sunday after yes. Thanksgiving on the CW. Yes. We can't wait for this. So tell me a little bit about um, why you're bringing it back, why you think everyone is going to be so thrilled to see it, and about the process. Well, you know, I mean, they, they told me that they were going to make a, a new version of The Homecoming and mm -hmm. it's 50 years later and the show is a classic and it's a great compliment to have it to have it redone. And then they invited me to be a part of it, doing the narration as the older John boy. And that just mm -hmm. thrilled me to be included because I have such fond memories of it and I loved it so much. And, and John boy is still there inside mm -hmm. me. you know. So when they they invited me, I was thrilled. And I think that, you know, the show carries the same uh it carries the same messages and and as it carried 50 years ago you know that uh that 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 the most important thing is that people should find their common humanity with each other and work through conflicts and that family and community need to work together and and uh how even in the middle of all kinds of all kinds of turmoil and 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 deprivation like people f experienced in the depression mm -hmm. there's a way forward through through how we are with each other and, that's right. Uh, you know, that's a kind of a timeless theme. It is the theme of hope, which I love. You know, everyone fell in love with you, the Waltons, just the entire family, the cast and crew. What do you think it was about what magic did you guys have that just made audiences just captivated everyone? Well, the magic we had first and foremost was we had great scripts by Earl Hamner, who created mm -hmm. the show. That was where the magic started. I mean, and we could not have done, if we had not had those lines to speak and those characters to play, we couldn't have made that happen. And then the second thing was that we really did make a family together and we really did care for each other. And all that stuff that you saw on screen was very authentic and very real, how we felt. Uh, and, 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 and this show and these characters does that. I got a sense from the new cast that, that in doing the, uh, the the remake, they also came together as a family and, and became very close. Uh, it, these characters just do that. It's a it's a wonderful experience. But of course, the show was a, the show was a great success at the time because number one, there was nothing else like it on television. True. Uh, it brought all, it brought all the demographic of the family together in front of one screen. Uh, there was something for everyone. All three generations living together in the same house, mm -hmm. and this early, late sixties and early seventies were a time of great turmoil socially, a lot of challenge. And, and the, the Waltons, you know, offered a kind of a safe haven where people could go and, and celebrate uh, how good it can be to be humans being together. Absolutely. It's true. Now, have you passed anything down about your character, John Boyd, to Logan? To, I mean, through what, what did you kind of pass about that experience? Down? Oh, oh I, there's nothing for me to pass down. My performance is there for people to see if they want to. And yeah. Logan certainly knows how to make, you know, knew how to make it his own, which he did, which is what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I just told him to have a good time. Have enjoy. a good time. I love that, we, which you certainly do all the time. We can feel that. Do you, can you believe it's been 50 years this anniversary? Does it seem like less or more time? Like no time has passed or if like forever it's, ago. You know, at first you think, wow, that went by in a second. That 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 did that was in a flash. And then right. you think, no, really, it was 50 years. A lot happened. I mean, there's a lot of water under that bridge. Uh but it's a, it was amazing for me in watching it and then in being involved with it again to have the full force of all those early years on the show come right back to me. And it was emotionally very rich uh, for me. I love um, it. But 50 years, man, and it's still and we still have something to say. It's a, it's a nice feeling. In this film that we get to experience coming up here on the 28th, was there one poignant moment that sticks out that you thought, oh, man, I just love this experience right here, right, right now? Well, I loved watching it and and doing the narration and feeling mm -hmm. that I was back home again on the mountain. I love, that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't get much better than that. And we have to ask you personally, what do you do for the holidays? Do you have any traditions? Because a lot of people, this will become a tradition watching this. Well, I wait all year for my wife's wonderful New Mexican Christmas dinner. Oh. We have a beautiful tree. And uh, I have to force myself to not listen to Christmas music before Thanksgiving, which is not easy for me. <laughs> That's right, but today, let it roll. So cool, The Walton's Homecoming airs Sunday night, 8 o'clock, right here on Wish TV.